Go for first, Chucky, go for first. We have a full cap. We have a full cap, yeah, we have a full cap. Sha uh, Chucky, or I thought for a moment you called him Shaggy. <laughs> Chucky, Shaggy, well, it's basically the same thing. So it's two sir now for no, Chaos. Hey, Chucky, Shaggy, hmm? You know, it's ish the same. Almost, at least. I am the Mr. Bombas. <laughs> Uh, wow, Ruben Swine is going alone on, on Factory? No, he isn't. He's going with the Dr. D guy on Plaza. Um, but that's actually a kind of standard tactic to have just the sniper, uh, if he can, to peek out the allied sniper and then have one uh, light or heavy defensive uh, on the, the lower link on water room just to make sure that the, if the, the guy on back and he gets killed by, an, uh, by fast capping uh, allied player, he can. Uh, Go whoa, back whoa, to whoa, look at this. Luger just pushing forward towards that first. There are four players, five oh, players oh on the God. first. If we totally missed that, what happened? Caretake just completely eradicated on that first round. Or not first round, but that after that phone cup. Jesus, what a push. That was amazing. I didn't even see what happened. Luger oh, just. That was a very good play by Louis there. Indeed. I yeah, think that's just really exactly what they need to do. What they just yeah, did there. You really have to, to take the opportunities on this map to push it. When you see an opening, just push it because, as, you, as we have been to, uh, saying uh, before, that if you see an opening or if you have an India, it's really hard for the, for the opposing team to be really threatening or if they can push or not. Yeah, but finally, Chaotic is getting their guts together, so to speak. Whoa! <laughs> and Mikas was a ninja on first flag. That's what I'm talking about. Three flags in, what, three seconds? Two seconds, maybe. That was a full cap. That's what happens on Quark. I just love this map. Yeah, I mean, wow. Chaotic just turned it down completely. What is this mess? This is crazy. But that that's what we were talking about. Uh, you can you can fast uh, full cap on this map so quickly. But yeah, Luke, I think, uh, anticipated the the fast cap now and killed Mika's off. I think it also boils down to get a really good start on a, on a, on a map like this. I mean, if you control, if either team controls like underpass and plaza, like you, oh my god, well no, I just forget what I'm what I was talking about because Chaotic is just completely destroying Luger right now. They are showing some resistance in the form of this Infisir there. Don't know how to pronounce his name, but as I was also talking about, he the, the the important thing on you know on all maps, but especially on a map like Quar, is to get a good uh, start, you know, to get either hold of underpass and plaza, so you don't have so much pressure on the first flag and that fear of having a ninja. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not saying. And I believe, uh, yeah, this is what I'm about to say. Luger D timed out, so they were five against six now. Ooh. Let's see if Luger can uh, hold down. Yeah, the what they need to do now is just hold their first flag because they're not behind. Because as I as we touched upon uh, a few times actually, it's such an easy map to full cap on. So I think they should just you know pull back and you know play it safely and uh, hope that Kiltic would have an idol. But it seems like they're not going to have so far. Um, but it doesn't really matter that much as Luger seems to be holding so far. Oof. Good, uh, not a bad slip up by Nastra in the overpass. Luca doing a good defense now, which is exactly what they need to do with five players left. Yeah, they really need to have uh, water room so they can control the access areas. Because if uh, Chaotic has it, they can run them over it pretty easily. I agree, and I control agree. the base of the map as well. I'm wondering, actually, just something completely different. In the, si in the left side of my screen, it says warm up mode, game will restart in zero seconds. Do you have that too? Yeah, it is as well. Is that possible to remove? Because I think that's kind of misleading to people who just turns in, tunes in to see it's a warm-up mode. Because it's actually live. So, but yeah, anyway, just I, remind, I me. It's a, remind me. It's a source TV bug. bug yeah. Uh, source Good TV bug old dots. Ooh, uh, bad uh, TK from Chaotic there. But it doesn't really matter as Chaotic is pushing off to the right side, which is exactly what they need to do. And Luger once more is pushed back on that first. But Luger seems to be having a really solid defense on that first flag. Just pushing their guys on all the, uh, all the um, either sides. I think uh, in a usual defense, you would have a sniper in the ruins watching uh, the ladders right. And the other guys watching mostly the left side. Isn't that what you usually do? Yeah, you have a large sniper. He's holding the stairs from behind and then push to get to recontrol the... the... The war room area. Yeah, exactly. But it's also a very hard map to to get through because you only have if you're going from underpass or war room, you have to you only have two areas to get on the first. Either it's library on the upstairs or you have the lower link, unless you can't get from behind it. 
Yeah, I, to I totally agree. But now Luger is doing what they exactly need to do. They they're pushing on that far left side, which is underpass, and just you know establishing that kind of threat that they're there. And Kiyote can't push forward too much from Plaza. <laughs> and we have a one minute and thirty second delay on the Source TV. Too bad. Indeed, it too bad. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think there was any full caps in the last seconds. Can you uh, confirm that? Again, you're the one with the contacts. Oh yeah, that's true. You are Mr. Popular. Indeed, I suppose. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to be on the IRC. It seems like the lag had sort of sorted itself out now. There was a lo uh, bit of lag in the middle of the game, where my internet spiked up crazily, so... Sorry for this overlay, guys. And I can't minimize it for some reason. Great. <laughs> okay, the lag has established its... Uh, uh, has a... What do you call that? Stabilize itself! This is actually pretty much the first source team I've been on that hasn't lagged. You know, that's... Oh, 3-1 actually for Chaosec. They, uh, it seems like they full capped in the last seconds. Oh, actually no, they, uh, oh. they, um, they full capped in the last, like, few seconds after Luker dead, so it, it was 3-1 uh, all, uh, all the way. But wasn't that fast, super fast to full cap 3-1 uh, score? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's what so I was pointing I, I out. Think, so. I think I was, I think we saw yeah. all the caps. So, um, what do, what does Luger need to do to turn this around? Ooh, black screen of death right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as we said, as uh, the same as uh, Chaotic did, they need to try to get those uh, little ninja caps and get from behind them and the control the water area again. Try to be a little bit offensive because they are two full caps down and they need to be on the offensive. Mm, yeah. Um, in any case, something we didn't manage to do in the previous one. Um, they're having, having problems apparently connecting, it seems. But anyway, uh, on Chaotic, we haven't really know uh, on Luker, sorry, we didn't really manage to um, introduce the players. Uh, we have Kicker and Yankee. Um, I think so far Yankee and Kicker was a great asset on that under uh, underpass. Um, but I don't really, I'm not really sure on, on Kawhi, what is the Im most important place to cover? Because, I mean, both sides are kind of more important, because, of course, they lead both straight to the first flag. So, is it most important to have heavy dominance or light dominance? I'd say light dominance. I'm not really sure. You need, I mean, you have to, as I've said a hundred times, you, have, you need to have the war room. You need to have the war room in your control. And if you have, because it's a, it's also a close uh, core area, you need, you should be able to have some heavy dominance. But I agree, it's some many open areas, so it's kind of, kind of, I don't know. You can have heavy dominance with light dominance. Yeah, I suppose it's you, you know one of those really weird maps where anything can happen. I mean, we just saw two full caps in what, ten seconds? Yeah. Fifteen much. at most. Uh, I don't think there was anything more than, of course, you know, including uh, excluding spawn time and such. But in total, it was like 30, or in one minute, we saw two full caps. But, um, yeah, we're just having a little bit of downtime once more. Uh, uh, Luker guy's uh, restarting his PC, I think. He's having some problems connecting to the game. So, um, what Luger needs to do in this map, I think, um, is try to get as many ninjas as possible behind uh, Chaotic's first flag. You know, try to get a player, like, what Chaotic did is get a player behind... Um, of course, behind uh, the Luger guys and into the Allied Church, either behind it or up into it or in it, and just wait for them to run past and just don't shoot them, and wait for those three flags to be capped and just cap the first flag. That's how easily you can full cap on a map like Quar. You agree? I totally agree, and I believe they should. I think Luger uh, should try and get some dominance on factory. And just keep kind of defensive on the passes, holding them back, nailing them in water room, trying to control the the chaotic guys in the water room, and then try to get from behind with the lights and sniper into box link and car link, and try to hit them from behind and uh, try to get that way. Yeah. So try to get some more dominance in the factory area. Yeah, I agree. Um, and try not to. Uh, there was a few uh, mis uh, mis unlu unlucky uh, uh, TKs. I mean, of course, TKs are something that happens. Um, you can't really, as I as I pointed out uh, in our previous cast, Druids have have a big problem with TKs. 
Yes, we do. Uh, you have a lot of problems with uh, your grenades, but that doesn't matter. This is not druids, but just pointing that out. In general, a lot of teams have problems with TKs, and that's something that costs them a lot. I'm probably reloading the map again. Um, but yeah, the last guy will be here in around 30 seconds, and we will be getting the second round going as fast as possible. <coughs> <clears throat> so, how was your trip to Denmark, Sergi? Was it as you expected? Uh, yes, it was. Four hours train ride from my city to Copenhagen. And it was Four hours? What did you spend time doing? You don't want to know. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> sure? <laughs> I, you know, since I've listened to music, reading some books and stuff like that, it's time to get some time passed. But it actually did. Uh, it, that, it did went faster than I expected it to go. Usually, when you go by train, it takes four hours, and time goes so slow. But it didn't actually this time. Well, yeah, it's time. It goes slow. I mean, that's how the wor world works. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. the funny guy. Yeah. Indeed. You know what? One should. Uh, you know, someone should make a time machine or something that, you know, uh, have you ever played World of Warcraft? Someone should make it a hearthstone. Whenever you travel with a train, you should be able to, you know, just fast forward time so you don't have to sit in a train and just, you know, when, when, at least when you're traveling a f far away, something, <laughs> some kind of way to, uh, you know, just fast forward time or hearthstone to the place you're going. No. You know? Yeah, I know. I mean, why not? <laughs> We're all geeks, so, right? Yeah, all the viewers here Go and f make a hard stone. Yeah, right. Indeed. So we're getting. That's the, the meaning of life. <laughs> right. So uh, second round here between Kitsik and Luger. It's, it's turned out to be quite the interesting game so far. We have a bit of uh, trouble on both uh, both ends actually. First with the source TV, then with the players not being able to join the match, and then my internet was going crazy, and it probably is going to do again, and. But then again, you know, you're always going to have these kind of games and we just try to live with it and just have fun, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we're going live already between Chaotic and Luger in this second round of Fly Gaming Speed Cup number one. Everybody Let's enjoy yourselves as Chaotic is Axis and Luger is Allies. What did you say, Shaggy? Nah, never mind. Okay. So I mean, I'm t I kind of torn on this map. Do you, would you say it's uh, it's an ally dominance or axis dominance? Whoa! Look at Chaotic pull, pushing all their guys to the left side and steal by himself in the catwalk. I think they're gonna go with that standard one light in well not standard but one light and one uh, one light two lights that one light in uh, boxes and one light in uh, what do you call it car link? Yeah. But uh, what was your question again? Uh, what would you say this map is? Allies dominance or Axis dominance? Well, I really, I really, don't, I, I think it's the maybe sometimes ally dominance because they have that ability of getting a fast cap or, or not fast cap, a, a good spawn, which allows them to get a really good start on the plaza. In that sense, I think it's good. But then again, I'm not really sure because uh, the Axis guys have sometimes been able to get some really good spawns up in the front as well, where they can get up into the catwalk faster than the guys getting a good spawn from allies can get into the double window. So I think it's pretty much up to the team how they play. So it's a team favorite, I think. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, Chaotic is slowly pushing forward, showing their teeth on that plaza, and we do have Exy here doing what he's, what he's supposed to do, just being quiet in the, in the prefect, which is waiting for him to push forward. He doesn't want to show himself as being a hero in that, uh, in that prefect. They, he does want to hold it. Ooh, he does get that Chaotic not guy in the prefect, but now Chaotic being, uh, shooting, uh, what was his name, Exy in the, in the prefect, now establishing dominance is the, in that prefect, and now Luger is pushed back to their first once more. Being that, in that chokehold is not a good situation to be in. Not at all, and this is the kind of tricky thing. If because don't know where the axes are gonna come from. Are they gonna go double windows? Are they gonna from behind? They're gonna go from radio room. Exactly, and they can jump from yeah, exactly from double windows. Or uh, again, of course, that's a little bandage in the wound that the uh, chaos is going to is like three guys down now. Just basically what Chaotic needs to do now is be defensive until they get reinforcement. They don't want to push too much out in front and try to get a hero at their way out to their first flag. Um, and in, in in this case, Luger just needs as well to be defensive and kill us and hope for Chaotic to be uh, uh, aggressive and just, you know, get a team down. Because that's the problem that a lot of teams have. They get too eager to get that first flag. Uh, if they feel they're so close to the first, they just rush it and they all die. 
I think that's a, that, that's a problem that a lot of teams have. And now.